Let's take a look and see what we got back here. Anything over here? Like the porta potties? No. Nope. We got a bunch of uh, boxes, but I also see a trap. Again, I'm wondering if I was fighting the boss, if this would have been a good way to go. Because you see what I could have done, right? I could have kept going this way and, and arming the different stuff. And she would have kept running into the traps, I think. And then she would have kept running into the traps and getting hurt. Fire effects are really good, right? Realistic. Nice. Can't get these open, can I? Nope. I'm wondering if this is actually the way we were supposed to go. Maybe the front door doesn't open. You were supposed to go through the back, see? Probably. <clears throat> Bottle. I know there's more items over here. We saw them from the, the other side. Boom. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> More ammo. Another dead guy. And a bottle? Yeah, I don't need it. All right, so we looted everything. Now I can go inside. I'm going to go in that back door. Very nice. <clears throat> so now I know anytime I see a red barrel, if I shoot it, it will explode. I didn't know that until right now. <sighs> Urgh, give it a shove. Use all your man strength. Come on. You can do it. Put your shoulder... There we go. Get that shoddy out. Let's make sure all my weapons are reloaded. There we go. All right. Welcome to City Hall. Oh, City Hall basement. <clears throat> That was bullshit. Should have been able to freaking uh, assassinate him, but it didn't work. So this is another one down here. Shut up. <laughs> you guys are a non-threat because I've got my boomstick. Gotta move this from the other side. I call this my boomstick. That's the that's the technical name for it. <laughs> That's right, Army of Darkness reference. That's right, Fluttershy. It's a great movie. 
Campy as hell, but also very entertaining. We got a workbench and a save point. I only have 145 weapon parts. I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to save. All right. <clears throat> there we go. Accept the Mundo. Chapter 5 Lying in Wait. Oh shit, there's a survivor. Huh. Who's there? It's okay. Harrison, right? I'm not one of them. Oh, uh, who are you? Don't worry. O'Neill sent me. I... I thought I was the only one left. I'm looking for the core. Where is she? Is she here? S second floor. The stable field emitter. Emitter? Forget about that. I'm here to find the core. You must turn on the emitter. It, it will stabilize the environment. Jesus, look what this guy has on him. <laughs> Union will completely collapse. Then the core won't matter. Turn it on. It will affect his power. His power? You mean? Take this. <laughs> Use it to turn on the emitter. Jesus, did this guy crawl inside of a woman's uterus and get reborn? How do you get this much fucking goo on him? What the fuck? Completely covered. I think he died. <clears throat> he died. Harrison's communicator. All right. Another team member down. Wish I could have gotten more info. Don't worry, Lily. I'm still gonna find you. Yeah, if only you would have shut the fuck up about the core and listened to what he had to say, maybe you would have found out more. But you're an idiot. Okay. So, report number 977, urgent structural issues. Expansion efforts put on hold. Retention of original map is paramount. In addition to fracturing of, of landmass and atmosphere control loss, daylight simulation has also been compromised. Countermeasures for system failures have been established, but receiving reports of previously uncategorized issues. Citizens are experiencing memory rewrites. Also receiving reports of unexplained corporal dysphoria and violent tendencies. Please advise. <clears throat> There's nothing worse than that. Corporal dysphoria and violent tendencies. It's almost like a mutation. Oh wait, that's exactly what it meant. <laughs> Book. The fuck is this? Another camera set up. This guy sets up cameras everywhere to view his, his kills. That was the mail room. <clears throat> Front hallway. Jonah Constant. Wonder if that's the mayor. The mayor. Mayor Joseph Hagar. Actually, it's Mike, right? Mayor Mike Hagar of the town of Union. He pile drove those fucking muties, those hideous mutations. No, it looks like he's up another camera here. There's nothing actually here, see? There's not a coat, coat rack. He covered it. Alright, so let's see what's in the front hallway. Gunpowder. Electricity's flickering in and out. The door's locked. I wouldn't have been able to get through the front. Welcome to our city. We built this city on zombies and freaks. We built this city on cannibalism. <laughs> yes. That's our theme song here. Union City, you'll eat your friends. Delicious. 
Oh boy. <laughs> He's taking the swan dive. The Pepsi plunge. Another staged kill. I'm gonna check all the corners here. No hidden items that I can see. Yeah, ta da ta da da ta. So we got a door here. So technically, this guy ain't dead yet. He's somewhere in here. Yeah, technically, he ain't dead. He hasn't hit the floor yet. Such beautiful music. Fall for me, my angel of music. There is nothing in this fucking room, man. Look, I searched the whole room. There's not a goddamn thing, not one item. A waste of time. All right, let's go through the door. Oh, <laughs> an abrupt ending to the music. Here we go, back to the nice artwork. I love it. Poor guy who had dental work. What the hell, did you hear that? Whoa, someone's getting kinky over there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, harder. Oh. <laughs> I love it. Oh, baby. You really know how to give it to me. <laughs> mm -mm. Nails. <clears throat> of course they would keep nails in the drawer in City Hall. Why not? Oh, baby. Ooh. Pull them. Spread them out. Spread my cheeks out more. Now put it in. Oh! <laughs> what was that audio? Put it in. Every single inch of it. Put it in. <laughs> Okay, well, this is where we're headed, upstairs. Great. 